Hi, Dr. Stenbeck here. Uh, today we're going to address the adrenal glands and a very common problem that many of us go through, adrenal gland hypoglycemia, low blood sugar with fatigue, mood swings, depression, back aches and neck aches and headaches, all coming through this one gland. So uh, be sure to uh, check in with the webpage uh, because uh, you'll get much more information there about healing yourself holistically. And uh, for today, now let's get on with the adrenals. Now the adrenal glands present a very common problem, uh, mainly due to our intake of white sugar, white sugar foods, cookies, candies, ice cream, all those things we love to eat. And when our kids are eating them often enough, they live in adrenal gland hypoglycemia, fatigue, mood swings, depression being common symptoms. Also hyperactivity is a very common sequelae of adrenal hypoglycemia. So the adrenals make adrenaline, the fight or flight hormone. <clears throat> they also make uh, cortisone type of hormones for healing of skin and connective tissues. Um, Pantothenic acid, by the way, is the B vitamin that's most helpful in resolving that issue. And the, the over 100 hormones are made by this gland, so that speaks to how important it is, doesn't it? It also affects the brain. Uh, we can have brain symptoms, brain fog, just from this reason. And mental stress, very common here. Emotional stress is also common nutrient deficiencies, white sugar, too much coffee, all affect the adrenals. Uh, a common treatment through the years has been the high protein diet, which actually fixes nothing except a protein deficiency if you have one. But it will take away the symptoms, so it's acting just like a drug. But that's not the solution to adrenal hypoglycemia. It may well be helpful, but it's not the solution. Some rare patients have a tumor in the adrenal glands and that obviously is a medical issue and um, in such people uh, a lot of diagnosis is needed with uh, long-term uh, glucose tolerance testing and uh, these are people who cannot feel well unless they're eating protein every two hours. Uh, one has to look into a medical cause of it when that is the case. Now look at this list of symptoms and tell me you haven't had your share of them. Fatigue, depression, head, neck, back pain. Uh, these people live in chiropractic offices. Then we can have the brain symptoms. Headaches, migraines, cortisone deficiencies, connective tissue diseases even. Poor healing. Very common symptoms and very often due to the uh, underactive adrenal gland and it so nicely responds to holistic care. That's the great thing about the adrenals. Carnivores, adrenal extract, it's uh, quite available now in health food stores. About 500 milligrams twice a day for a couple of weeks and then once a day for a few more weeks is enough to do some rejuvenating in the gland. Uh, providing of course that you take out the mental stress and the emotional stress. So when we're mentally stressed by everyday life or by something in our life, it drops into the stomach. That's why we hear the common phrase, you worry yourself into a stomach ulcer. But at the same time, it's going into the adrenal glands and causing them to get irritated and the, the irritated tissue then leads into hypoglycemic reactions. So, refer back to the class on mental stress if you have mental stress and make sure you take care of that. Emotional stress, oh, I'll bet one or two of you have had self-anger, rage and fury. Sometimes it's anger with somebody, anger with a family member, a spouse, and you turn it against yourself, otherwise you'll say or do things you don't want to. And so self, anger, rage, fury, locks into the adrenal glands, interferes with their function, causes hypoglycemia, causes more depression. So you go to the emotional class and make sure you look into your self, anger, rage, fury and how to release it. 
search your memory for the childhood pain uh, of anger with a parent or anger with somebody that you may have internalized into this gland. Vegetarians, Damiana astragalus are common herbs for this purpose, uh, adrenal extract for the carnivores. Uh, both are likely to need pantothenic acid if this has been a long-term problem over uh, months, sometimes years. Pantothenic acid is one of the B vitamins that is absolutely critical to adrenal function. And commonly, such people will need 500 milligrams uh, twice a day for a couple of weeks before they can cut down on that. If one is going through mental stress all the time, you're likely to need all of this nutrition all of the time until you start taking command of your life, which is your job. And when your adrenal glands are underactive, there are certain muscles in your body that will be weak on testing. And the first one is the sartorius. This muscle here goes from your hips all the way down around your knee. And the gracilis muscle, this one from in the pubic bone all the way down around your knee again. Now these are knee stabilizing muscles. Most people who have knee pain without any obvious traumatic cause, invariably it's due to these muscles being weak, due to the adrenal glands being underactive, due to being in a hypoglycemic state. Once the holistic factors have been taken care of, these muscles immediately return to full strength. And that's the wonder of our muscular system, which has been discovered in applied kinesiology through uh, the chiropractor uh, George Goodhart some 50 years ago, when he discovered the connection between each muscle of the body and each organ in the body. And uh, it's such an important discovery that virtually all the uh, Olympic and professional athletic teams around the world you know, use doctors who are uh, into applied kinesiology in, can, and can deal with muscles that are weak in athletes that don't have just a traumatic cause. So, knee pain, common symptom, and or hip pain and low back pain can be due to adrenal hypoglycemia. Uh, I'm also going to say a few more words about the pancreas. And we dealt with the pancreas at level one when we were talking about digestion. And I'm going to say a few more words about it today because it's so linked with low blood sugar and hypoglycemia. Uh, Muscle-wise, the muscle that's found weak in the body is the triceps, this one up here behind the arm. And it's a very common finding. So now, let me tell you a little bit more about the pancreas. Holistically, mental stress is common here. And emotional stress is also common. And if you don't take care of the mental and emotional stress, no amount of nutrition will help the gland to recover, rejuvenate, and function properly. So you need to address the mental stress. And who hasn't been rejected? Put your hands up. Nobody. That's right. When we're rejected, particularly the younger we are when it happens, that emotion locks into the pancreas and causes an imbalance in its acupuncture circuit and causes pancreatic hypoglycemia, pancreatic digestive problems and God knows whatever else. So this is a very common problem. Pancreas extract, again for carnivores. Saw palmetto is a classic herb for the vegetarians <coughs> or celery seed. Faux thai is also another common one. Chromium <coughs> Excuse me. Chromium is also very important for many people uh, as a, a pancreas rejuvenating trace mineral. Well, there we have it. If you don't have this problem, you know somebody who does in your family, I'll bet. So, see what you can do to help them. Check in with my website and feel free to take advantage of asking me a free question on any health issue. I'll be happy to give you a complimentary reply. If you have anything complicated going on, we'll need to do an online consult and we'll then get you well. Alright, so that's all for today and I hope you've enjoyed it and hang in there and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye bye now.